right, guys, we'll start in a few minutes. Well, hi there, Shannon. How are you? So we're going to um, just take a few moments and I wanna give you a, um, a couple of reminders. If you put your name in the comments, um, your student's name, your, first, your student's name. The other thing you can do is email me your student's name, um, and then I'll put them in a drawing, about 150 Winter Sports Complex passes. So I'm gonna draw each week a name or two. Um, and then if your student has something that they really would like to see, like more stretching, or like today we're gonna do something that um, Donovan asked is for fall and triangle. So we're gonna do a fall and triangle today. Um, and then if you've got some specifics, I would like to know that. So and that might be worth an extra entrance into the, to the drawing. So, um, and then next week is Thanksgiving week. So I probably will pre-record some of those, but I thought it might be kind of fun. On um, For Thursday, I'm gonna be um, in Iowa with my mom who's recovering from COVID. She's doing really well. She's in her 80s. I'm gonna get her to do the yoga with me. I thought that would be kind of fun. And if you guys would like to see, um, if you would like to see my, um, I can make my son probably too. So he's going to be coming in also. So it's just a small little Thanksgiving gathering. There's only going to be five of us this week year. Um, but my, I could have um, my son and my mom doing yoga if you want. So just let me know. It might be kind of funny. So um, let's go ahead and find our mat. And let's go into a, we're gonna start in a child's pose today. And I don't know, let me know if you can't, and Shannon, maybe let me know if you can't hear me. Just give me a thumbs up or thumbs down if it's not loud enough. But I'd like to start in a child's pose with our knees on the outside of our mat, sitting back on our heels and stretching forward. 
in deep and take some deep breaths here with your forehead resting on your mat deep breath in and exhaling just take some breaths on your own Finding the calm, the peace. Make your breaths a little bit longer in and out, starting to wake your body up. Maybe in this child's pose, you want to take your hands and put them together in Namaste and bring them behind your head and take some breaths here. When that feels complete, can you come up to all fours? And remember, it's our wrist, elbow, and stacking them straight underneath. So it's wrist, elbow, shoulder, and our knee underneath our hips. In this table, finding a neutral spine, my eyes are gazing at the top of my fingers. I'm holding my core in, and I notice this spine that's long right here. And then let's find a few cows and a few cats. So in a cow, dip your belly, Deep breath in, flexing that spine, and then exhaling, lifting up through your shoulder blades, stretching, inhaling deeply into a cow, and exhaling into a cat. And let's find that neutral spine again let's walk our hands maybe to the side so we take our we get a little bit make our spine go a little bit to the side maybe you peek over your shoulder maybe you look at your feet back there and then walking our hands back let's peek the other way walking the other way peeking let's walk back this way Let's take our right hand underneath our face and then lift our left arm up, giving our spine a gentle twist and then bringing that hand down. Place your hand underneath your face and lift this arm up. If you ever want to do some of these again and you can't find them, I always load them up on the Kelly Peel web, um, website page where we have mindful lessons and calming scenes and just a lot of ways for us to add some peace to this world. We're going to stretch out the bottom of your feet. A lot of you run and play soccer and you're, you're on your feet a lot for sports. So if you can go back on your your toes and even take the little baby toes and make sure that they are curled under too. This can be kind of intense, but it stretches out that um, the fascia on the bottom of your feet. A lot of you that were cross country, um, maybe sometimes the bottom of your feet hurt. As you get older, sometimes we get what's called plantar fasciitis, and this is a great way to prevent and stretch out. If it gets intense, just come up, no big deal. But if you can, come back down. Oh, I can feel my knee. My knee sometimes gives me some, it gives, lets me know it doesn't like what I'm doing to it. So when you're done with that, come up on your back to your table, and sometimes it feels good to tap up to you but while we're here let's go back and then let's come up to our knees and our toes are still curled under so we can get a little stretch there maybe you lift your right arm up deep breath in and then exhale placing the right hand on your right heel and if that feels okay you can lift your left arm up 
and place it there. Is this camel kind of stretches out our front. And you might even want to just put your hands on the pocket. You can do this. This is a, a great way to adapt, bringing your elbows as close as they can together, taking a breath. And then we'll come back down onto that table. We're going to get ready the, for the fallen triangle. We need to do a little bit of warming up for that. So in our table, if you want to take, I'm going to take my right leg out, almost like it's a kickstand. And I'm going to put my right hand in the middle of my mat and my left foot out. And so I'm in a modified side plank. And then I'm going to lift my arm up. So there's a line. And I can feel my core, holding my core in. Maybe I stretch it forward. Maybe I come up. And then we give a stretch to the side body on that right side. Deep breath in. Hoping you guys had a great day of learning. It's fun to hear the voices coming out of the classroom when the teacher is doing virtual learning with you. Place that hand down. Now let's come back up to that side, modified side plank, and let's do a few crunches. We exhale all the air out and inhale a line. Exhale and inhale one more time. Exhale the air out and inhale. We'll place our foot down, bring our hand back down, and come back to that table. Let's do one cat cow. Kind of balances out our spine a little bit. I'm gonna do the other side and I'm gonna show you from the back what it is. So I'm gonna place that left hand underneath my face. I'm gonna kick that left foot out and stretch out my right arm and bring my arm up. And maybe I come up and I do a stretch this way, stretching out the side body here. Let's do those crunches. For those oblique, placing your hands down, and then we'll crunch here. Exhale, and inhale, two, one more. Placing my foot down, my hand down, let's do one more cat cow here, inhale, and then exhale. Let's curl our toes under since we warmed them up with that plantar fasciitis. Uh, nice shirt, well, I feel like it's curling our toe under. And I'm gonna bring my knees up and just do it go slowly this first time. Straightening my knees, lifting my hips into this down dog heavily out, feeling my calves. I feel like I was in front of the computer all day and I need to stretch this out. Just taking some breaths. Maybe you want to bring your heels up and bring your your heels to one side, maybe go to the other side, whatever you need today. Just notice and settle in with each breath. Maybe you bring both your toes together and lift your right foot up and curl your knee into your nose and hold it just for a moment. And then exhale it back out. Inhale your knee to your nose and your foot between your hands. And let's hold this just for a moment and placing our knee on the ground, flipping the toes and walking that heel, that foot out. We'll go into that lizard, stretching, noticing. This is our theme song for this year, Be a Light. Now that you guys are in your home space, can you be a light to people around you? 
taking our right hand to our right quadricep, peeking over our shoulder, bringing our hands back, walking our foot to the middle, and coming back to that half split to give a nice stretch to that hamstring on that right leg. Remember when we inhale, we lengthen in our spine, we exhale, we hinge forward. But if it feels good to drop your forehead, then go ahead and do that. It doesn't matter. It's all good. We'll walk our hands back to that front, lifting our knee, and then bringing our foot back to a regular old plank. We're going to do a few side planks today. Deep breath here. Exhale. Take two more breaths in plank. Lifting up in our shoulder blades. One more. And then let's hinge forward and then hinge down with your elbows next to your ribs. Deep breath in. And exhale down. We're gonna curl our toes. And you can either go to your knees to a plank or straight up to a plank, whatever works for you today. And then hinge back to that down dog. Do you feel like you're warming up a little bit? Let's bring our toes back together again. I think it gives us a nice base before we lift our left leg up. And then curl our knee into our nose. And then exhale it back to a three-legged dog. And let's do that one more time, placing our foot between our hands. And remember, if you go to place your, your foot and it's back here, just grab it and move it. It doesn't matter. So we'll come to here and then place our knee back on the ground. I'm going to flip my toes, walk this foot out a little bit, bringing both hands to the inside, and I get a nice stretch here. Maybe we take our left hand to our left quad and peeking over that shoulder. It always pops and cracks at the end of the day, especially if I've been on the computer all day. Bringing our hands back, and then let's walk our foot to the center again, and then come back for that half split. Make sure we stretch out this hamstring. Deep breath in, exhale, hinge forward. Inhale, lengthening our spine, and exhaling, hinging. Again, some of you are so flexible, you can go into a split. And then walking that hand back, so they're on either side, curling my back toe, lifting my knee, and then placing this foot back so I'm in a plank. Let's take a few breaths here. Exhale. One more. Now let's do a few side planks to get ready for the fallen triangle. Placing that hand underneath your face. And then I'm gonna curl over with my right foot underneath and my left foot. So I'm in a straight side plank. And what you, and you know, you may want to, here's some ways to adapt it. Taking that right foot underneath like we did that plank. This is a side plank. Or if you want something a little more challenging, you can come into that, stack your foot up, and maybe you wanna lift your foot. Maybe you wanna take a few crunches here like we did before, just like three. Exhaling, inhaling, exhaling, inhaling. Another way to do a plank is to place your feet like that so you have some balance. Doesn't matter, it all works the same muscles. So curl back down, come back to that plank, take a breath here, and then hinge forward, come halfway down, deep breath into an up dog. My knees are off the mat, and then come back to a down dog. Let's take a few breaths here, and exhaling completely, emptying out everything that could be stressing you out. Inhale, fresh oxygen to nourish yourself. 
and exhale. One more breath. And exhale. Come back to the plank. We're going to do our other side. So I'm going to take my left hand. In fact, I'm going to switch because I think it's hard for you to hear me. So I'm going to take my left hand underneath. And my left foot is underneath. And I create that line. And again, you can put one leg down, stretch it out. You can have both stacked up. You can have one in front. You can bring one leg up. This is where we did those three crunches. Exhale. Inhale. Smile. One more. Balance, strength, and coming back down. This time, let's place your knees on the outside of your mat. Sit back on your heels and stretch forward into a child's pose. Taking some deep breaths in, exhaling. Really sinking your core in, making some big, long breaths. And when that feels complete, push yourself up to all fours. And we'll come to a table. I think this song is fun. So I thought it'd be fun to do the song with Paul and Triangle. So you place both hands out, curl your toes under. We'll reach up into that down dog. We'll bring both feet to the center again. Here's fallen triangle. So I'm going to lift my right leg up. Let's just try a couple things before we do this. <clears throat> so this is step one. Step two is you curl the knee into your nose and hinge forward. Step three, I'm going to curl my knee over to my left elbow. So let's bring that back to a three-legged dog. Let's do that on the other side. We'll do this in parts. Deep breath into a three-legged dog with your left foot, curling your knee into your nose. Step two, step three, knee to elbow. And if you're shaking, that's all right. I feel like I'm shaking a little bit today. And then we'll go back to a three-legged dog. So let's take a breath here in, in our down dog. And can you feel your breath long and exhaling long? All right, I'm gonna put both my toes kind of in the center of my mat. Step one, three-legged dog, lift your right leg up, my hips are even. Exhaling, my knee to my nose, inhaling, my knee, my right knee to my left elbow, and then stretch that leg out. So I'm kind of wonky right now. Now I'll take my left hand and reach up. Fall and triangle. It's so cool to watch a whole class do this. Place our hand back down. I'm gonna lift my right leg up into that three-legged dog and back down. Let's take a few breaths here and exhale. Let's try this on the other side. Left leg up, curl your knee to your nose, bring that left knee to your right wrist, or right elbow, sorry, and then stretch that left leg out, lifting your right arm up. Deep breath there, opening up your heart, bringing your hand back down and reach it back to a three-legged dog and back down. Take a deep breath here. Lift your right leg up and place it between your hands. And then let's rise up to warrior two. And breathe. I can't wait to hear how you guys did. Let me know in your comments. I think I told you I'm 
picking up 150 winter sports complex passes. Can't wait to give them out. You can email me if you don't want to put it in the comments. So take a deep breath back. And then exhale forward. Let's surround our hands around that foot, bringing this back. And then let's do one chaturanga, deep breath in, and then exhale. Let's lift our left foot up, curling our knee into our heart, placing that foot between our hands, and one movement, rise up to warrior two. Deep breath. Exhaling forward, placing our hands around that foot, and we'll come back to a plank and a chaturanga, inhaling up and exhaling down. We're going to set up for pigeon. So raise your right leg up high. Bring your knee into your nose like we've been doing today, but bring your knee to your right wrist. And you might, might need to walk it up a little bit or use your back toes. I usually have to do a little setup for myself. Can we sit up for just a moment to get ourselves set up? This is a deep, deep hip stretch. And it can be intense or it can feel good or it could just be a huge release of emotions. So um, just listen to your body, listen to how you're feeling. And then see if you can walk forward. Maybe you're on your, your forearms, maybe you stretch forward. But we're gonna take a good amount of breaths here, like maybe six in and out in this one. Deep breath in. And if something comes up in this stretch, and it does, I'm not sure why, the physical therapist said that our cells have memory and our hips get tight when we're stressed out. So if things release in your mind, just hold it for a moment. See if there's something that needs a little bit of tending to and be kind to the thought, be kind to you. When this feels complete to you, we push ourselves back up. I curl my back toe under and then I come back to that three-legged dog and you do what you need to do here. Lots of times I like to come up and open my hip up. Sometimes I like to take my knee like I'm drawing a big circle with a crayon. Whatever you need, we'll knead and down dog. And then lift your left foot up. We'll do the same thing on this side, curling our knee into our nose left knee, left wrist. And then I do my scoochie thing. I look at some people and they just land where they want to be and I'm, I have to do some setting up for myself. So I'm even over my mat. I flatten out my back toe and I get myself, I first set up and then I relax down into that deep stretch. Sometimes I bring my arms out. And just allow the hip to release with your breath. Don't try and force it. Just allow it to release slowly. If we force it, everything will tighten up.
Let's come back into that three-legged dog. Circling our knee or whatever it is that feels good to you in this time. Let's place our knees on our mat. Come to our seat. And we'll set up for a little Shavasana, but let's do a twist before we leave. One vertebrae at a time. And when you get to the mat, can you make your arms into a T? Can you bring your knees up to your heart and then give them a hug? Knee, hands back to a T, placing your knees to the right, peeking over at the left, and let your knees sink, feeling supported by the earth. Curling your knees into your heart, Placing your knees to the right, peeking over, allowing that lower back to open. Twists are a big part of yoga. Kind of massages your inner organs a bit. Bringing them back, giving them a hug and then slowly, like we went one vertebrae at a time, slowly stretch your legs out, bringing your arms into a big stretch, and then bringing your hands to her side, opening up your hands, releasing your feet, taking a breath here, appreciating the difficult work you did, a lot of twists, a lot of side planking, deep breath, and slowly as if you're melting into the earth. Staying in Shavasana as long as time allows. Giving yourself kindness, gratitude for showing up on your mat. Taking a deep breath in. May you have peace in your mind, peace in your words, and peace in your actions. The light in me feels the light in every single one of you. Namaste. I'm grateful for all of you. If anybody needs a mat, I can get you a mat for about $5. Just let me know. If you want anything off the Gaiam site, let me know because I can get you a discount, like 50% off. So just let me know. Have a great day, you guys.